Thank you, Lord. How beautiful was that? Yeah! Oh my God, that is another Norma knockdown from across the world. Say again, my name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life, guiding, outfitting, and hunting. Where in the world? 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Bicho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado. Back. Welcome to New Zealand. Where you know, in the world? I just love it so much. I'm going to keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I'd take the whole world home. Every year I look back and reflect on each year's hunts and travels, where we've been, the people we've met, things that we've done that was new. And this year seemed like, for whatever reason, uh, just a little bit extra special. We went to places, new countries that I hadn't been to before, met people and hunted game. Some of it's the same game, just different countries, but they were just really, a few of them that just stuck out in my mind that uh, I thought, we just put back together the kind of the highlights, if you will, of those hunts. And this is what I've considered and the crew has considered is, well, to be the best of the year. So here's a look back at what we consider the best of 2017. I hope you enjoy it. So their system of hunting, you've got to use the snowmobiles to get around and you can find these tracks. If the track looks big enough for you to, to, to pursue, you'll do the best you can looking at the country where the tracks are going and you'll get to some places, hopefully some advantages where you can get down. If you see something, you maybe can run down the mountain or maybe you can run down up a ridge line and make some type of install. A lot of times when that happens, you, you just, the bears are there and you literally don't see them. You just, they just can pop up. It doesn't make any sense. How can you look across this big white blanket of, of white? Well, there's ravines all over the place and there's little brush piles and these bears get in there and they kind of, even though they're out of the den, they'll crawl up in there and they'll just hang out in there. And more than once we've been walking or driving and there's a bear pops up on you. See here, look how deep he's going. Film all, just film the best you can. Just don't break. how you spell adventure in Russian right here we're in so much more snow they tell me this is a whole lot more snow than normal and just trying to get around with snowmobiles from one area to the next where you can hunt and getting out and walking any at all is just you can't hardly do it I felt like we're fortunate to get this to happen here my gosh let me go hold him Look at his eyes and his hair. Oh 
can't, I can't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I've been hunting a bear like this for ever. You just can't, there's no way to show you just how big he is. He's half buried in the snow. I'm half buried in the snow. And the half that ain't buried in the snow is 100% worn out. Look at that. That right there is also a Norma knockdown, by golly. That's a whole lot of bears knocked down. But we did it. Look at the feet on them and the claws. That's both my hands that's got right there. My gosh. How about that, Dad? I made it to Cam Jack and them just like you did. I think you did a little more graceful than <laughs> I got it there. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by Norma Ammunition, precision ammunition for the serious hunter. Nikon Optics, trust, earned, Nikon. Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. Worldwide Trophy Adventures. The Mule Deer Foundation. Kenetrek Boots. Arms Store USA and the Ammo and More Store in Stevensville, Montana. And the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment brought to you by the Montana Rifle Company, makers of the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle. I didn't look into it anymore. I wanted to be kind of surprised. I knew what to bring gear-wise, but as far as the scenery, had it in my mind what it was gonna look like, I was wrong. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. look up and there's a, a polar bear on the iceberg. I mean, I can't believe it. That is one of the finest sights you can ever see. Unbelievable. Well, I'm trying to wrap my head around all the things that I've seen already. How would you describe the beauty, the, the real look, what you feel when you get here and see this? And then you throw a polar bear and icebergs in the middle of it. I, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you describe it. This is one of the prettiest places I've ever been and I've ever seen. Happenstance that he turned and was walking the way the way that he was walking. You know what? All right, man, I'm ready. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go see him. Let's go see that bad boy. Here he is, right down here. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Andreas, thank you. Thank you. Peter, that's a beautiful bull. Yes! 
Let me gun safe nothing in the in the pipe. Look at that beautiful bull. Look at that beautiful bull. Hey, that's a pretty, pretty reindeer. Absolutely. All right. But this is just an absolute beautiful in his nose, colors, all the rest of them were dark. He had the most points. That's me right there. That's what I like. Thank you guys so very much. Greenland. My first trip, I don't plan on it being my last. I can promise you that. Follow all the action on Facebook at Where in the World is Colorado Buck? This segment brought to you by Norma Ammunition. Precision ammunition for the serious hunter. Italy has a rich hunting history. We get to go to the King's Hunting Castle. This ain't even real. Oh my gosh, those are those are Ibex horns. 1,800 Ibex and chamois. My <laughs> goodness. Holy smokes, these don't even look real. I never even heard of anything like this before. This is an example of the history of hunting, the heritage, and how far back it goes. It goes back to the beginning, the be beginning of us, the beginning of countries, the beginning of, of the heritage. Many, many countries, many people, families, the history and heritage of them is hunting camps and hunting trips. <laughs> Here's probably the grandest example I've ever seen of that. <laughs> Without this king, there is no Italy. And to walk through his hunting castle, he's got many castles, but this is his hunting castle. There's 1,800 mounts. I thought I had a nice trophy room. I don't have <laughs> I don't have a trophy room like this man. It's getting later and later. We're something needs to happen or we gotta bail and go out and come back tomorrow or, or something. All of a sudden one of those avalanches that I'm telling you about, I look up and I'm going, it's gonna check I get my rifle ready. It's gonna run him out. It's going right down this crevice and he blows out of there. I I don't I don't see me he covers a pretty good like hundreds of yards and he he's topped this last ridge when he goes over this ridge he is gone and he stopped there just a second and i might have said a prayer or something <laughs> i got to pow lord please help this bullet get where it's supposed to go <laughs> and it was perfect that was a long shot <laughs> That was a show. Woo! How about that, buddy? Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Baby! I see him. Oh, thank you, Lord. It was the very, very, last very chance. last chance. Last chance. Great. Look how far it's shot. Look at him later. Oh. Great shot. Look at this. Oh. Oh, my God. That is another Norma knockdown from across the world. Can you believe that? What a, ah! I couldn't be more happy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. How beautiful was that? Was that good? That, that was, was good. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> good job. Thank you, sir. Good Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> Colorado wanted to go and pick up his chamois. I said, no, that's too dangerous. This is what we always take care. We had to go, just the two of us, me and the gamekeeper. That was too dangerous for him and we will never allow one of our guests to take these kind of risks. If you love to travel and hunt, you're gonna to wanna to come to Italy, experience it, see it, hunt the Alps, and guess what? This is your connection to Italy. And if you love to travel and hunt, this is gonna be one of the destinations you've gotta to go to. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by Norma Ammunition, precision ammunition for the serious hunter.
Nikon Optics. Trust. Earn. Nikon. Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. Worldwide Trophy Adventures. The Mule Deer Foundation. Kenetrek Boots. Arms Store USA and the Ammo and More Store in Stevensville, Montana. And the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment brought to you by Nikon Optics. Trust. Earned. Nikon. There's castles all over the place, okay? One of those is Morella. It's one of the most stunning things you'll ever see. And it dates back to, actually they started working on Morella in the year 714. If you can believe that. 714. It's so ancient. You can go all through that. You can tour it. And it's literally minutes from the camp. It's surrounded by huge, huge rock stone walls that they, that they, this was a battlefield, ancient, ancient battlefields uh, all in this country. He's down. Yeah. He's down. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I do not believe this. Hang on. Is he up? Okay, boom. Should be right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. This is a good one, yeah? Yeah. Just a second. Yeah, he looks good. All right. Nice, <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right, we're good. Life feels good. There he is, boy. How sweet is that right there? How sweet is that right there? How many years I've been dreaming about coming to Spain? How many I've been dreaming about coming to Spain and hunting these ibex? This is the first one. There's four species of these here that you can that you can hunt. This is the besete. Yep, yeah, I'm saying it right in Spanish. Besete. That's close enough, ain't it? All right. <laughs> so, anyways, there he is. How old is it? How old is he? 12, 12, 12 years old. How sweet is that? But this was, this was a very good one and I, and I asked Manuel, you know, how, you can't tell when you go to a place and you haven't hunted something a lot, the, the size always. This one, this one ended up, I asked him how good is it, very good one, and he said yes, it's a very good one. So, so we made a play on it and was able to get a shot and thank goodness it, it worked out right. You can feel the history in Spain, very, very old. Uh, there, there's some of the buildings that still stand out here, date back to the, to the 1600s, they say. And I mean, it's, you can see it, feel it, and just when you're here, you know you're in Spain. It has that feel about it. Lord willing, I'm going to be back here time and time again. You see me mucho more time -o. <laughs> Good, right? <laughs> So we're back and out comes this guy and he's full of life. And uh, he's seen me and here he, here he comes, right? John Wayne! I go, man, he's pointing at my hat and he goes, I named him John Wayne. So he's John Wayne in Spain. He's got it, he's got this thing in mind. He wants to show me how to fight bulls. I didn't understand him because he wanted me to fight the bull. And then I was like, no, we can sit over and shoot the bull, but we ain't, I ain't gonna fight no bull. You, you can go fight the bull. It, it's a blessing every time we get to go somewhere. I never have, and all the years we've been done doing this, I've never got to a point where I wasn't excited about going on the trips and the people that I've met. And it's just been life-changing events in a lot of 
a lot of instances it has. The, the people, we don't just get to go do this for free. The people that make it happen are the whole crew here, the sponsors that I cannot think enough from the bottom of my heart. The outfitters and the guides, they're the ones that make it all possible. And to those of you that never really get a thank you, you're getting one from me. Thank you. I appreciate the things you do that allow us to keep doing what we do. If you're interested in any of these trips that you've seen, go to our website, heycoloradabuck.com. All the outfitters that we hunt with, each and every year are listed there. Their contact information will be up there. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for staying with us all through 2017, and I hope that you stick with us through 2018 because there's some pretty exciting stuff coming. Catch us next week somewhere in the world for a brand new one. Until then, God bless every one of you. Close captioning provided by Rocky Top Outfitters. Book your hunt with Colorado today at heycoloradobuck.com. We'll see you on the hunt. John Wayne. John Wayne. John Wayne of Spain. <laughs> John Wayne's down. <laughs> He got me. <laughs> he got me in the butt. <laughs>